Welcome to Singapore. Carla Finkelstein recently spent 10 days there, but the Virginia Tech cancer researcher was no ordinary traveler. Tourists may flock to Singapore to see the sights, but while others were touring, she was working in the Southeast Asian city-state where breast cancer is a top killer of women. Uh, Singapore has invested millions and millions of dollars in education and translation and research in cancer. So this is a truly a unique opportunity for me to meet top researchers. Finkelstein spent several intensive days with a group of Virginia Tech faculty members, all of whom connected with counterparts focused on similar research problems. Finkelstein's goal, better treatments for breast cancer patients. So, uh, just one other thing that I should mention, we also do quite a lot of things. I think one of the great part of this trip is the opportunity to create partnerships with our colleagues in Singapore and, 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 and really um, collaborate in, in, in the translational area of research. So we can provide ideas, they can provide the technology, we all win because we develop new therapies. The National University of Singapore took advantage of her visit by asking her to give a talk. Okay, can you hear me okay? The back. Referring to her own jet lag, she made connections between circadian rhythms and breast cancer. Virginia Tech invests in a competitive annual program of travel because of its value in advancing the faculty's research agenda. It provides them with an opportunity to interact with high-level professionals and high-level academics in a region of the world that they have not interacted with in the, in the past. I think the best part of the trip is I met new researchers in my area of, of expertise, I met new collaborators, I met my competitors, I found out about graduate programs for my students and for the undergrads that they're going to join the new major, and um, I have a good time here, so it was perfect. For Outreach and International Affairs, this is Andrea Brunet reporting.